right folks so you've just seen the pictures of what it was we started with so originally this part was that Hornby signal box with the flat broken roof and if you remember it was all melted here on the sides so what have we done to it to get it to this well it took us bloody months to do it because we've been busy and ill and one thing or another but anyway uh, some of you remember we did put a video on originally showing all these legs being built um, and all the girder work um, I did actually let me just change all these I did actually uh, change all the legs because I wasn't happy with them um, after the video so they're now sitting on lolly sticks made it look like girders um, so you've got lolly sticks, coffee stirrers there's some old Hornby accessory stuff I think there's supposed to be um, fencing to go um, I think it's I don't know what you call them but where you've got the elevated railway track you can buy these things to go along the sides of the elevated track to provide a, uh, a fence if you like but anyway I had them in a box so I throw them in and then you've got Pico station sides going on there they look awfully clean when you get that close they're actually dirtier than I think the light is blowing out it how clean they are anyway so yeah so that was the gist of it again coffee stirrers in use here and the Hornby support stuff there um, I have got a picture which I'll put in the end of a signal box let me just move that because it ain't glued down yet um, of a signal box that did have signals attached to it um, on the gantry so I copied that um, you'll have seen that there Prospect Hill um, if I remember <laughs> I'll put a video well not a video a picture of that um, Prospect Hill was an elevated signal box that used to be on the Whitby to Scarborough line and it's kind of seen a picture of that that set me away with this idea of oh I want a signal box on a girder um, sadly it was down to the beach and cuts and it went a long time ago um, but I'll put a picture on so you can see what I'm talking about for those of you who may be interested um, so as I say I mean all of it is stuff these here these girder looking things came with these things here these are off the side, sides of a Hornby um, footbridge that was absolutely knackered when I got it these rods are kebab sticks the only thing I cheated on and bought was them steps through the centre those were um, class struct bought them from my local shop Peter Spares he's just around the corner from me um, the chimney put on there was stolen from a station a Hornby station I didn't like it on there and I've cut it down here to put it on just for a slightly different effect um, but as usual with me it's like I mean if I lift this up as you can see if I lift that up even the floorboards because I'm guessing it would have had a wooden base even the floorboards are just coffee stairs but the thing that pleased me the most was I was aware that I needed some kind of a barrier here so that sick men on the signal box you know don't fall over not like they're going to and I, I messed around with lots of things and I really didn't want to buy anything for them um, and in the finish I came up with an idea so I did say that I would mention this guy as and when I needed to so Fred at the Wilbury line these here on that one that one and that one are all courtesy of you mate um, when you sent me all that box of bits those of you that saw that video there were some frets of plastic kits and we all know that the frets come wrapped in a plastic frame and as luck would have it there was one frame wide enough for me anyway there was one frame for there and there was one frame for get it Paul there so that was red see-through plastic that was yellow and that one was black but gloss black so Fred 
I tried all sorts of this and I wasn't happy with anything and your box of bits come in handy straight away because this is a project that's been sitting on my desk for months because I started it and I didn't know where I was going with it and then I built this gantry and still wasn't sure if I was happy with it and changed the gantry again and then it sat and did nothing for ages because I wasn't doing any modelling um, but this was one of the last things that I had to do was to find a solution to something up there now you could argue that in my era it's a little modern looking and yes it is it looks like something you'd find in a car park today but do you know what I don't care because for me it solved a problem I was having I didn't want a barrier that was too high that would block the view out the signal box windows but I wanted something that represented you know a protective barrier because I mean obviously on the original Hornby this walking platform wasn't there as you saw in the photographs I mean this wasn't that's all coffee stirrers lolly sticks this is obviously original the plastic behind it isn't um, the roof didn't have an apex roof on it didn't have a chimney on it and this thing on the bottom just didn't exist at all it was just all taken from a box of bits so as usual about half an hour ago this thing was gleaming because all the paint was brand new and it looked ever so shiny so it's now had a spray of matte varnish and after the matte varnish it's out with the weathering powders just to tone it all down because after all it's got engines running underneath it there and there and back in the days of steam it would have had loads of black on there and even with diesels you might and as I said the point is is that this thing will sit over two tracks with a lot of points either side of it um, that are controlling the climb up to what will be my elevated track level so it made sense to steal the name from the real box that I talked about and call it Prospect Hill <coughs> because it will sit next to hills that take the tracks up um, not quite how it was done at Prospect Hill um, if you're interested I'm sure you'll find a video on it but it was kind of a DMU route when I saw the video um, and they kind of rolled under this gantry to a track further back and then they stopped and they throw some switches and then it comes up this way and heads to Scarborough clever way of doing it, clever way of getting up the bank because they didn't have a lot of space but anyway I've rabbited on long enough so again Fred I told you I'd mention you I have thank you your bits helped me out straight away gave me the barrier I was looking for and as I keep saying to you there's nobody else got one of these and a lot of you might look and think I don't want one of them it looks rubbish well that's fine your layout is your layout and mine is mine and I want something that I can look at and honestly say I made that what it is and it's different and nobody else has one and yes it looks rough because I want it to look rough half an hour ago it looked like a new pin now I've beat it up and battered it a bit and hit things and scraped bits off and put weather and powder on to get where I want it to look like a working signal box sitting over what used to be two very busy steam lines so don't throw it away that signal box I had, you've seen the picture of it, you've seen it was all melted, you've seen the roof was damaged, it had seen better days, well it didn't have to be thrown away, a bit of time and a bit of effort and all I have honestly truthfully bought for this was them steps on the side um, from Plastruck from Peters, everything else, yes you can argue that I've bought it as well but I've bought job lots of junk and all this stuff I've got in here is I, I guarantee you most people would look at most of this and think bin chuck it in the bin it's no good to me I can't use that but I can and I enjoy doing it so there you go folks there's a little installment for you um, don't know where I'm going to move on to next because I'm kind of spoilt for choice thanks to Fred um, probably try and get at least one of those done it's getting that busy time of year with family and stuff but I'm off over Christmas so I might get a few things done I don't know whether you glance there but these are my old calendar although it's still December and I 
specifically wanted the calendar just because of the posters there's one there just for you David Howarth sporting your favourite little home but yeah anyway we'll hopefully get a bit more done over Christmas but there you go thank you to all my new subscribers because I'm now at 105 thank you very much indeed my apologies if I haven't wrote a message to you personally I don't know whether you people can ever see them it took me months to figure out how to read them but thank you very much for joining the channel um, I hope you like what you see today I hope you've learnt that don't just throw it away have a go see what you can do with it see if you can fix it um, thank you for all my other guys who stick with me and wait patiently and what have you um, you know what it's like life gets in the way work gets in the way things like that but there you go another project finally finished that we started months ago so at least I can say that these they've been around a little bit but sitting in that current form not very long um, and lingering in the background there you might remember that that was the one that I did where I showed you how to use um, strip magic where it was several layers of paint that's sitting in its latest connotation of blue with gold trim which took me ages with a really fine pen um, I'm still not happy with it and I don't know whether I'm going to keep it that colour but it was a little something to mess about with and the coaches I mentioned before never done out with them never had time too busy catching up with everything so there you go folks if I don't get a chance to speak to anybody again I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year thank you very much for watching the channel this year thank you for all of your comments thank you for every single person that's subscribed whether you've just subscribed or whether you subscribed a year ago thank you very much hope you all have a good Christmas catch you later bye bye